Hey guys, it's Star Sky, and welcome to my first mental DPS video to do with uh, the first loadout I've come up with. And um, if you have seen my um, video on the um, Mental Menace DPS, first Firmus Gareth first attempt, then um, you've already seen the loadout, but I'm here to show you what it really is and the rotation behind it. So as you saw in the video, this loadout did some amazing damage. And it was my very first attempt with um, the mental DPS power. Now, um, the good points to the slowdown is it's all AoE based, apart from the finisher for Terrorize. And, um, you know, there was plenty of power interaction together, so it is good. The downside to the slowdown is it does have two cast times into it, though, which can be very frustrating if they do get interrupted. So, you know, as this one, as I did say, this is my first loadout though, but it is good. You know, the damage is there for it to be um, shown. So anyway, let's go straight to the loadout. And from left to right, now, please remember this is how I like my loadout, so feel free to move it any way around that uh, you feel more comfortable with. Okay, so from left to right we have Mass Terror. Now this this inflicts terror and it's basically an AoE skill so everything will get hit and it does damage over time. Um, then we have Menace. Um, basically this increases the odds that your enemies will run in fear and take damage when you attack. Terrified enemies take additional damage. Now just for people who don't know exactly what Menace does, Menace is pretty much like uh, your Weapon of Destiny from um, Sorcery when you're doing uh, weapon combos or using your power um, Menace will add additional might ticks into your um, well into your attacks really so this is a very very good damage so you can pretty say it's like another um, dot when, you for when you're using your weapon attacks or, wep or powers plus you know it does um, add extra additional damage into stuff that's terrified now Phantom Flames is um, an AoE um, dot skill. This is um, a really good skill. It can hit like four targets. It inflicts burn so it gets damage over time and it takes advantage of the um, power interaction of Terrified which Mast um, Terror does. So basically if I'm hitting something for like if I'm hitting four adds with uh, Phantom Flames and the first hit's like 700, the additional damage would be like maybe two to three hundred afterwards. You know, so that's what I mean by additional damage. And now we're going to be moving on to the two big cast ones. Now a lot of people say to not use two big cast times with it. Um, it's com to be honest, it's completely up to you. If you find this loadout works for you, then stick with it because it does do good damage. But if you want, if you don't like cast times, then this loadout isn't for you, to be honest. Um, so then, I tried Mass Levitation. Now this um, damages and levitates nearby enemies, helps us into the air. Now, the description's a little bit wrong, because you can pretty much use this at full range, and it will still do the same thing. It will do big damage, but the main reason why I use this for, though, is for the massive... Um, AOE power interaction of days. So a days enemies making them vulnerable to days and effects. So that's why we come into our uh, big hitting skill TK, um, telekinetic bolt. Blast out a cone of telekinetic energy to damage and knock down enemies. Days levitated, knock down, you get the idea. So pretty much anything that's been dazed will take additional damage. Now with TK bolt I can hit up to, I don't know, 3 4 adds, and I've hit crits of over 4.3k on um, a few adds at a time. Now thanks to the massive um, AoE daze effect that Mass Levitation does, I get loads of additional damage when TK Bolt hits, so I'm hitting something for like 4.3k and I get the additional damage, which could probably be like about 800 or maybe 1000. So this is a very very strong loadout, but it does have a lot of cast time in it. So you have to be prepared to um, you know, uh, stay back and actually use it instead of trying to be within um, mid-range of the ads getting knocked around. And then we have finally have Terrorize. 
um, this is pretty much just our furniture anything that's below 35% HP you're going to use this with and it's just going to be hitting big numbers in between 4 to 5k per hit it when it crits it could be even more to be honest depends on your might plus this one does also add the power interaction of terror as well so that's pretty much the loadout and the rotation but I will actually show you the power points first so first of all I will go into telekinesis and I've got the power points in telekinesis telekinetic push telekinetic bolt and then I had to put a power point in so for some reason to unlock the one below it so I just put one in the supercharge so I can use it if it comes to um, four man content mass levitation and then to the illusion tree we have a point in terra tendrils invisible menace horrific visage phantom flames terrorize and mass terror and then Iconics, Weapons Expert, and Tactical Genius. Now, with all of that, you are left over with one power point. So you can, can use it any way you feel free. But for me, I wouldn't put it straight into the extra 100 HP. Just for when it comes to t um, T5 content, it's always nice just to have, to have that bit more HP. But feel free, you can put it in Super Strength or Nano Weave Armor. You know, pretty much wherever you feel like. So that's the loadout on power points, and to pretty much the uh, rotation. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, pretty much I'm going to be using Menace to clip Terra. Now, Terra doesn't have a big cast time to be honest; it's an instant damage skill with damage over time afterwards. But I want to get through the rotation as quick as possible, so I will. Li so I always like to use it at straight at the beginning, so I can make the most out of the damage and. Um, get the cooldown done as quick as possible so I can use it again. So it's literally going to be. So, literally, first thing we're going to do is going to be Mastera. So, as you can see, it does an initial instant hit and then it does damage over time afterwards. Now, it is a big AoE, so it will do it on many things. So, picture it, it's going to be. Mass Terror, Clip to Menace. And then when, if you see, when I'm doing my regular attacks, or when, or um, using my different powers, Menace will add in extra Might Ticks. So literally after we've done Mass Terror, Clip to Menace, we want to go straight into Phantom Flames. course we're going to be using like weapon combos in between that as well. So let's wait for Menace to finish. So this will be Mass Terror, Menace, Weapon Combos into Phantom Flames. So as soon as we've done that we want to straight go into hitting Mass Levitation. So Mass Terror, Menace, Weapon combo. Clip the Phantom Flames, Weapon Combo, Strength Mass Levitation. If the train W would like to stop running around, that would be so good. So then after I've hit Mass Levitation, I want to do another Mass Terror just because I want to get the additional damage going even when I'm doing the uh, cast times. So I'm still getting damage happening. So literally, Mass Terror, Menace, Weapon Combo, Phantom Flames, Weapon Combo, Mass Levitation, Weapon Combo, Mass Terror, and a Strange of TK Bolt. And that's simply the rotation to it. It's nothing um, difficult, it's simple, but on a big group of ads you're hitting thousands of damage at a time with the power interaction of um, 
mass levitation and telekinetic bolts. The damage, to be honest, is just crazy. Now, the main reason I did I'm doing this video for is because I've had a couple subscribers ask me to do this, and for me, each subscriber is as important as the other, each one. So I would try to do as many videos on mental as I can to help people out. So please feel free to ask for any um, tips or anything though, or please feel free to give me any tips since I am still new to being mental. I appreciate any help I get from any of my viewers and subs. Okay, so once again we're going to go Mass Terror Clips of Menace, Weapon Combo, Phantom Flames, Weapon Combo, Mass Levitation. Straight into Master Terror, and then we're going straight into TK Bolt. And as you can see there, I hit 3,551. And let's see if we can find it. Oh. Hmm. Yep. Master Terror Clips of Menace. Weapon combo, mass flame, weapon combo, mass adaptation, weapon combo, mass terror, strength to TK bolt. So you just have to imagine that that's a big group of ads and there's a lot of damage coming from it. And then of course when their HP is like below 35% H. We're actually just going to chuck in a weapon combo with Terrorize. Now to make the most out of this um, loadout, you want to you want to get the white mod for your hands called Enduring Damage, and what in the what this does. This the 60% damage bonus gained from using abilities when activated time persistence. Ah, stuff all of that rubbish. Pretty much, when we use a 60% damage modifier, which is mass levitation or TK bolt, that means we're going to permanently be using it. So if we used TK bolt, we will then have a 60% damage modifier for all the rest of our skills. So as you can see. Scroll down. I use TK Bolt, so I have a 60% damage modifier. And if I quickly press Menace, normally that would wipe the damage modifier and give me a 35% one instead of a 60. But thanks to that mod, I still have a 60% damage modifier. So after every time I use a 60% damage skill, that damage modifier will stay and give every other and give all my other skills a 60% damage modifier and that effect lasts about 20 seconds so but in this rotation you will be using le mass levitation and TK bot quite frequently so all your powers are permanently going to be having a 60% damage modifier and that includes anything you use like your weapon attacks and all that kind of stuff but anyway guys um, I hope this video will will show you and uh, help you out with any mental loadouts. Please, please feel free to use this loadout, try it, see how you get on with it, and let me know. So, as usual, any questions or any tips you'd like to give me, please leave it in the comment section or send me a private message. Uh, and until next time, you are my power. Green Lantern's life.